for <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, welcome to another episode of Pillow Talk. Today we have intuition. Some of you might know him as Lee if you're homies like that. Lee, Lee's probably easier to remember. Lee's chill. Uh, is it Lee or Leroy? It's Lee. His is a regular old. Nice. Lee. That's my grandpa's name. Oh, that's a good name. It's <laughs> it very is rare. I've only met like 10 other Lees in my whole life, maybe. Damn. Maybe 12. I don't know. <laughs> Not a lot of Lees out there anymore. It's true. They're yeah. very rare. Yeah. Okay, so first things first, well, I guess we got the name part out of the way, but I got to state your name, age, occupation. My name is Lee Shaner. My age is early 30s. Nice. <laughs> Getting towards the middle of the 30s. Uh -huh. uh, and my occupation is like very just Los Angeles grinder. You know, like <laughs> everyone in LA is like, oh, I do this, 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 and this, and that's what I do. Like I yeah. make music Love and I do photo stuff and I podcast and I YouTube. and. Hell yeah, your podcast is legit. Thank so you. I appreciate it. Everyone Thank should you. go check it out. Yeah, it's called Kind of Neat. Yeah, Kind of Neat. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your current relationship status? I'm single with like, you know, my fallbacks. I, I have like... Dead. <laughs> yeah. It's true though. Yeah, yeah. The I'm, ones that are always around. I'm single around. with like a, with like old reliables. <laughs> I'm dead. Old reliables. <laughs> the truth though. Yeah. Um, describe dating in LA. It's very hard, I think. Or well, it's hard as well. Like when you get into your early thirties to meet uh, girls that that society deems like an appropriate age for you, I suppose. Like yeah, what? Like most of the functions that I'm at and events that I'm at and and even the um, you know the events that I throw and stuff it attracts yeah. younger people, and so it's hard to meet uh, a woman that's kind of like in the same place as me right now. Yeah. And like you know Tinder and OkCupid okay and that shit we were kind of talking about, but like yeah, it, yeah, it gets don't. dark. <laughs> like those, it's kind of a, it's a crazy world on Tinder and OkCupid, okay and I feel like a lot of um, a lot of girls that will even present themselves as like you know. Nice. model citizens that are ready to like become legitimate um relationship havers are yeah. actually just like degenerate sex addict people i'm so dead yeah, that's, yeah. that's all that's the thing i've been discovering is that like a lot of people who front on being hella sexual sometimes aren't and then a lot of people who are like oh. the quietest like geekiest no, nerdiest or like the freakiest yeah, in the whole matters. world i'm like okay <laughs> that's, de that's, that's definitely like my experience having uh, been around the block uh, once or twice is that like, it's the quiet ones that you don't expect that are the craziest. I know. It's always a nice surprise though. I'm down. Yeah, I like it. Um, kill, Mary, fuck the Kardashian sisters. Um, um, Mary, the, what's the one that just turned 18? Oh, dead. The Kylie Jenner. Marry her, Are fuck her, Kendall? and kill her. Uh, yeah, all of them her. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God she's legal now. Yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't want to marry any of them. No. And I don't want to kill anybody. I'm not a killer. Oh, you're saying. But I, I would probably fuck most of the lot. Just kidding. Most of the lot. Yeah. Just once. Yeah, yeah. That booty, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll fuck Chris Jenner. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm He's more of a woman than all of them. Wait, no, wait. It's, no, Chris is, is Chris the... That's the mom, right? Oh, that's the mom? Yeah, the mom. Oh, not the dad. I'm not fucking dad. with the dad. I don't even know yeah, any I'm not of fucking them. with the dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's yeah. very progressive. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm blushing. Um... Do you believe in love? True love? Yeah, absolutely. I'm still like a very uh, idealistic, romantic. Me too. Uh, but, I, you know, I always like, I was talking about this with somebody the other day who was kind of, who had a similar outlook on dating and women as me. And I was like, you know, as much of a scumbag as I can be and as out here as I get, like, I still dream of like meeting that woman yeah. that makes me want to stop thinking of fucking other women. Yeah. And he's like, it'll never happen. And I'm like, that's dark. But That is dark. Yeah, well. but, but I mean, you don't know that. maybe it's real, maybe it's not. But yeah, I, I believe. I'm sure that they'll meet some. It's like, you got to meet someone yeah. who you want to work to be with. Who Absolutely. You're like, well, and I know that I believe in love because I've been in love and, it, yeah. and like I've become a fucking literal crazy person because of love. It does and, make and like, people crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Um, okay. I wanted to talk about how important is communication in a relationship, do you think? I think it's very important, and, and the older I get, the more, like, upfront I like to be, because yeah. I always tell people, like, if you're barking up the wrong tree, if someone's barking up the wrong tree, like, if I'm trying to date you, but you're not down, like, yeah. it's way easier to just, like, be, like, a no is better than no answer, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I if, agree completely. Yeah, I'm, like, it hurts way less feelings if you're up, up front, if somebody's, like, oh, are you feeling me, and you're, like, 
Sorry, it's not gonna work. Yeah. That's like better than ignoring texts or better no. than fucking whatever. I never you know? got that either. Yeah. It's like, yo, just tell me what's up. Like, yeah, just be upfront with people and, people and like are fewer afraid feelings to like get hurt. Be honest though. Yeah, and I mean, as far as when you're in a relationship, communication has to be everything because yeah. when it breaks down, that's that. That's it. So. Well, do you? I wanted to ask. Do you notice? I mean, you've been on tour and all that kind of stuff. A little bit. Not, I'm not a big. I'm not a big tour guy. But huh. Yeah, yeah. Well. Okay. I, I could probably still answer. Try, try <laughs> yeah. Now. I'm trying to figure out how to yeah. phrase it. I wanted to ask, like, it's hard when you're on your hustle and your booze on your hustle to yeah. keep communication and make time for each other. Oh, so how do you go about doing that? Like, how when you are kind of seeing someone, how do you go about communicating with her and, like, keeping in touch and making sure that, like, everything is Gucci without being like, I'm fucking busy, bitch. Like, well, I think, <laughs> I mean, I'm a cancer. And so like, I like that emotional validation yeah. a lot. So I like to feel like a woman's there for me. But yeah. at the same time, if somebody's hustling and working hard, like I, you have to just like know, and, and you have to respect that. And you have to like, think like, Oh, this isn't about me. This is yeah. about her working. And so you can't get jealous of somebody's grind. You know what I'm saying? Know. You have to, um, I mean, you have to support that. And then, Hopefully, she'll let you be Mr. Mom, so Mr. if she works hard enough, then you don't have to, you feel me? Perfect. <laughs> Preach. Um, okay, I wanted to talk more. Yeah, let's talk yes. about the dating sites and apps. Okay. So, what's been your experience with that? Which ones have you been on? I, I've done um, Tinder and OkCupid. Those are the only two? Those are the only two. Well, and, I, and you know what's funny? Spaghetto, shout out Spaghetto. She put me on the OK Cupid. She was like, "Oh, you have to get on the this. You have to get on the OK Cupid. You can like send the messages to the girls without even if you don't match." That's my uh, Spaghetto impersonation. Yeah. Okay. She um yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, "All right, down." And I got on there. And at first, I thought that it was like uh, more of like people that were ready to settle down. That's what I assume. Yeah. And, I'm, and I like I always joked around that like Tinder's for fucking and OK Cupid's for making love. That's what I would think. But I'm making love. I think I've found that like girls on OK Cupid are more batshit crazy than the ones on Tinder, yeah. even because Tinder has become a little more socially acceptable. Like yeah, it's a like, lot of people are out there. Yeah, a lot of people are out there because it's such like an open like joke kind of like yeah. like oh haha we met on Tinder. But, like, it's become socially acceptable. And, like, yeah. OkCupid, okay, I feel like, is a little darker. And, like, the yeah. girls are a little more, like, they try to present themselves as conservative, like I said. But they're, yeah. they're like, you know. Real kinda, freaky. Yeah. Well, like, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, Dark. sex addict de de degenerates kind of. But, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Shout out to all the OkCupid. Okay, no, they're good. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Yeah. You'll find someone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tinder's cool. I mean, they're cool. You know, yeah, like I've met nice, fun. I've met nice people through them, and I've met fucking weirdos through it. Yeah. So that's just with anything. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna ask, are you in touch with your emotions? Let's talk about that more. Uh, and do you think that some people would tell me that I'm not, but I think I am. I think that I'm a fucking emo person. I'm a pretty emo person. Too. Well, here, here's the thing, though. I, I I make music, and people like uh would. A lot of people would refer to my music as like emo rap, but I, and, but that's the thing is that I think that like uh, I get most of my uh, I get most of my depression out through that shit, and then yeah. I kind of ignore it all the other times. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I I'm like a, I'm a generally like a outgoing, happy person. Um, well, I mean, just I'm in very, touch with your emotions. I'm very self-aware, like... so I think that I am in touch with my emotions. Yeah. Yes. I'm do you do you think that men are afraid of intimacy? Uh, well, like cuddling? But no, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, abso like no, absolutely. intimacy. Absolutely, like, man. Actually friends. being in love and like opening up yourself and being vulnerable with yeah, I mean, someone. Because people always joke and like it's like not cool for guys to I think date girls. Scared. I think everybody's scared of that. I, I think girls are scared of it too. Girls are scared of it. It's in, it's scary. I'm trying to get deep. It's scary down to be vulnerable because people fear rejection naturally, and so if yeah. you open yourself up to those uh, those like deeper places, and somebody rejects that or doesn't like it, then it's like that's the worst feeling. It is the worst feeling, but also that's why you have to love people unconditionally. <laughs> you know the creep. <laughs> He's latched up. You have to love them unconditionally because. I mean, fuck it. I'm, it sucks getting your heart broken, but if you don't, you don't really have anything to lose in right. relationships. Like, what's the worst thing that'll happen? You won't be with that person, and you will fucking find someone else in one second. Better like, not to have lived and loved than to, or and like be hurt than yeah. to not love at all or something. Yeah, I destroyed that quote, but it's very no, real. It. Very real. That is the realest quote. Yeah. Okay.